G'day with the traders. I'm Roy. I coach Destroy, and I'm here with Warney. Coach of the Warn Dogs. And Calvin. Coach your mighty Calvinator. Rightio, hey boys. Every preseason, one of the most highly anticipated moments is when the traders team drops. <laughs> oh, now, yes. yep. the best part about this team, if anyone's been a little bit unorganised and hasn't done the research required, <laughs> me, this yes, gives yeah. you That's a great. really good starting spot. It's a guide. It is, it's 100%. A great so guide. you can make some adjustments as you see fit, but... You probably don't need to. <laughs> All right, there's the uh, blank team at the moment. So you've got your $14.8 million to try to pick your squad of 30. I'm going to cheat here. Roy, you yep. dropped an article on yep. afl.com.au which had a nice uh, mm. 10 players to get started with your must-haves and... Well, we've all got these, although, Cal, you are missing one. I think that's Paddy Cripps, isn't it? Is, it? That is correct. What Follow Mike Cripper. Uh, well, he's, he's been in and out. Yeah. Okay, oh. so you can't have them all. It's not Pokemon, dog. So <laughs> it's, he's, uh, he's out from at the moment. But my come in. Oh, well, may the next thing was then we sat down and tried to work out, here's a list of rookies to put on our bench. So we filled up a bit of a bench there. Spent a couple of dollars extra on a few of them there. So that maybe is where, well what we can start with. We're going to hopefully get some more news on that during the week. But anyway, we'll continue on and start picking our side now. I'm going to start in the ruck because I'm assuming, Roy, you said Grundy at R2, which means it can only be Max Gorn at R1. Is that where we've landed for this team? Well done, mate. The first puzzle piece is absolutely (laughs) correct and it is big Max Gorn. So we toyed with a few different options. Bruce early on, but he got suspended anyway and before that, we had decided on going the big two, set and forget anyway. I think they're clearly the best two. They'll score the most. We're not mucking Sean around. Sean Darcy, Riley O'Brien. Nope, nope. Nope. Okay, all right. Well, you just don't get fancy there. No. Just do that, guys, and I you're done. So. Let's yes. go to the forward line because we've got five spots here to fill from where we started. I'm going to start it off then with my man, Josh Dunkley. I think he's a must-have for us. So he's my F1. Is he your yeah, F1? Yeah, he's my F1 at the moment. He was basically the form player of the competition at the start of he last was. year before he got injured. We're talking midfield uber premium Ooh, numbers. Yeah. So to have him as a forward and under price now, yep. great lock dog. All right, let's have a look then at these other forwards. And Roy, you've been hot on mm. Cornelio. I have. Look, all I needed to see from Cornelio the other day was getting CBAs moving freely. And his scoring just naturally came from that. So he was 100% in. What I didn't need to see was the flag. Was the flag from Leon Cameron saying 50-50 split. And then I was like, hey, hey, hey. That's okay. Trust your eye. (laughs) Yeah. It'll be forward flank. It'll be high roll. He'll be fine. Yep. I continued reading. Centre square type stuff. Mm. I mean, forward square. Like I'm talking... I'm talking, Where you kick it out from? There, there, in full the forward, forward line. Full really. forward. You should have stopped reading. I should have because yeah. that deep forward yeah. is not what I was thinking. No. And that flag, that's why I couldn't talk. It hit me in I the know. face. I could imagine. Yeah. Uh, what about more midfield time? What about Isaac Heaney? Did we get scared off? He's in my side and I'm picking him. <sighs> I'm scared of that dog. You I can't am. do that. I know you love Heaney. He's so cheap. Look, Heaney, if he doesn't attend a CBA, yep. he is cheap for that. Yeah, He's yeah, averaged okay. like 93 times playing as a forward. Any CBAs are a bonus. Yeah, yeah. And I think they're going to be there, aren't they? Like, they should be. I think, yeah, and that's it. I think he's cheap as a forward, mm. but he's going to get the bonuses, CBAs. That's where we're going. Um, now, can we have my boy, Zach Butters? Oh, yes, we Definitely. can. I he's got a midfield time. I think he's the safest out of those three. So do I. Price at under 80, I mm. think he is. He yeah. will have a breakout season and average in the 90 yep. pluses, Roy. Yeah, he's a bargain. Right, we've got one more spot there. I don't think we can spend up again. I think we need someone a bit cheaper. Who could that be? I agree. Now, at this stage, it's going to be Ralph Smith. Okay. Right. Now, okay. look, his game the other day, that comes with you a couple go. of flags as well. So, yeah, yeah, if you yeah, go yeah. Ralph Smith, um, there was a couple of key personnel missing, yep. which means he got the opportunity, but he took it with both hands, similar to the 10 marks that he <laughs> yes, took. Yes, he did, Roy. So, that's really impressive. That's enough to sit there at the moment. However, with those guys coming yeah. back, he could easily get pushed out. Right. So, that's a worry. It is a Are worry. Are there any other forwards that we could consider like that? <sighs> Not really at this stage. Right, okay. Where are we going to look now? Let's go in that back line. A few spots there to fill. Roy, you've been hot on recently. Mm. Even though he burnt you in the past, get past is Jack Chris. Look, you've got to be able to move on from these You things. do, Roy. He cost you forget. a hat, mate. He cost you a hat. Okay, get him back out. No, he's <laughs> solid as a rock. So not only does he basically play every game every year, yep. he's not really reliant on the CBAs. They're just an added bonus for him. So if he plays midfield, He'll yep. score about his 100. If he plays across halfback, he'll score about his 100. So 
in a time where we're going to be starting with some iffy guys, yes. minimal job security, I think having a rock there is quite important. I agree, especially when we've got guys like Sick Dog in there right, right now. Is that where yeah. we're going, Sicily? Oh, he hasn't played for so long. No. Nah. In his Amy the other day, he only had like a 66 or something. Yeah. Is that a concern for us? Look, it's a, it is a concern, but prior to his injury, Sick Dog became like an 80 to 85 guy. Yeah. And that low score that you're worried about, it's actually more than he's priced at. Okay. So he would have even increased in price based okay. on that. There That's how low he's priced. Okay. All right. We've all been hot on after his uh, Amy Community Series game is Justin McInerney's yep. spot there. And he can be there at our D3. We're we all happy with that? Well, I think I read about him in a footy record. Oh. And that, cow is exactly why you're allowed to pick him. Yeah. Anyone written about in the footy record yep. immediately becomes a member of the extended training yeah, yeah. squad. Okay. It's not like we've seen one game and plucked him. Yeah. We even knew what he looked like. His exactly. photo was in there. That's yep. positive. All right. Then finally, at uh, what are we going to do with that bottom, this is an that issue. last I've, position? I've got someone, and I'm not overly happy about it. And you get to look at this me. This is really where you had a big discussion about this. this he's he's going to give me the what have you done, cow? Look. This is where we lose credibility. Okay, Paddy McCann. Oh, okay. Hang on, hang on. Nah, it's all right. Two hundred and seventy-one k. Yeah, he will be in their best twenty-two. That's he the scored. key. That is the key. We don't have many rooks at the moment, so no. we need guys like this who are best twenty-two. Mm. He's not going to dominate and have massive scores. He scored fifty-six in the Amy. Yeah, with thirty-six of those in the first quarter. That's, that's not a lot in that's the last three games. 20, actually, dog. <laughs> Keep up. Look, okay. So that stuff is a way. I know. Okay, but it's a formal, former number one pick. Yeah. Yep. He looks like he's consolidated his spot down there. Yeah, I think so. That's fair. He played over 90% time on ground. There's going to be games where he gets a few junk time yeah, marks. Yeah, yeah. He, he probably hits 60. Yeah. Uh, as it's I said, not a bad pick. Not the greatest pick I've ever done. Yeah, it's not the worst either. For now, that's okay. It'll do for now. Well, let's make a better pick. Let's choose an M1, and I am going to go with my mate. Lock him in for Wednesday night is Jack McRae. He's just a very safe option there, which leaves us... Challenge. What? what? Just on the mate thing. <laughs> He's not your <laughs> mate. <laughs> okay. You've got no mates. <laughs> he... We'll come away on the players' trip and I'll try to be nice to him and hopefully we'll be right, mate. But no, I think McRae's a nice, easy option there. Um, VC as well to start with, which is good. So, which leaves us then, look at that, 792k. Mm. Right, we don't... as I can afford... We need Matt Crouch in there. Oh. We need Matt Crouch. We can afford better than Matt Crouch, surely. Yeah, but we don't need to. I don't know if there is better than Matt Crouch when you take that price into account. He's priced under 80. Yep. So all we needed to see in the preseason was Crouch in the middle running freely. We've said this. It's a common theme with these guys that um, are coming back from injury. That's all we say we need to see. But then to have over 30 touches and the criticism could come, well, his score wasn't that good because he didn't tackle and he didn't mark. But I think in the season proper that comes. Matt's always been a handball-happy guy who relies on a lot of possessions, but he's also scored at the elite Uber midfield premium role multiple times. He just goes back to that. Yeah, Don't overthink that one. There's no lead either. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. going to be good. Okay. Now, how much money have we got left? Uh, we've got a fair bit left in the coin, actually. Got to spend 143. That. I'm okay We're not taking that into round No, one. you don't do that taking it in. You've got to spend it all. Well, let's upgrade Paddy McCartan then. You could try. Probably not going to get anyone. But. Go put it on top of Jack McRae. And we'll go what, Jack Steele. One of the best. Oh. Jack Steele's my mate, Roy. Yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's yeah, my mate. Sounds more realistic. So get rid of your mate and put a real mate in there. Well, I'll tell you what, the captaincy option yeah. versus Collingwood round one. Yep. One fitty. It's going to be a big, big Lock score. Lock him in there, Skipper. We'll make Max our vice captain. Make sure you click these on when you're building your team. All the emergencies are done there. Yep. yep. It's not a bad team. It looks all right. That's it, a decent start. We'll look, be, that's it, though, Dog. It's a decent start. Yep. It'll be subject to change, though. Yes, that's of course. That's something that as we get news over the next couple of days, when teams are announced, all that sort of stuff, mm. if there's rookies there that are named, those sub-300K guys, make sure your bench is full of players that are playing. That are playing. Yeah, 30 green dots should be mm. your goal there for that. Mm. Exactly. And look, if you see something there you don't like, guess what? What? You don't actually need to pick them. No. You can do your own. You oh. can get rid of them That's and bring someone else in. Very yep. important. Love really it. cool. Hit up <laughs> afl.com.au and the AFL Live app for more of our content in this big lockout week. And don't forget to tune into the podcast. And if you haven't signed up yet, fantasy.afl.com.au or download the official app and you will be getting 
ready to win a 60k <laughs> Hilux or maybe coming second to us. Maybe, yeah, yeah, uh, well, possibly. Yeah, that team, probably.